everyone, my name is Priyanka and I trust all of you are doing very well today. Well, this is with regard to my last post as I mentioned that we would be bringing things which are informative, which are value to you. So this would be our first video in the series of blogs and posts and other bits that we would be bringing out for you. Uh, now the thing is, this, this particular video is regarding with regard to how to take your measurement. Uh, okay, going back to the fact, well, Malmul and Moore had very humble beginnings and I started really small. I started from my study room. Someday I'll take you through my journey. Uh, but, uh, but the thing is that th there was a reason I started small. Uh, I wanted to understand the market. I wanted to understand the acceptability of my product. And more importantly, uh, I was very skeptical about sizing whatever we were uh, manufacturing. Uh, people had to like it, it had to fit people well because no matter uh, what sort of fabric you use, how much high end quality you use, if the garment doesn't fit you well, it ruins it all. And, uh, luckily, we've had next to no returns and I would love to share this journey but I, I would definitely do it. And uh, Though I am a trained pattern cutter and I've uh, studied at places like London College of Fashion and Central St. Martins. Uh, but my journey began from uh, cutting and tailoring here in India. So uh, when I launched uh, the Brett line uh, for Malmal and Moore, I devised my own size charts. And uh, the thing is that uh, what I found difficult here was that all, I mean, we have a UK size chart, a standard size chart, and we have a US size chart and so on and so forth. But for India, we do not have a basic standard size chart which we can refer to you know every brand has uh, their own bit so uh, when we were launching our line I devised my own uh, chart the size charts that we send you uh, begin at, from extra small and they go up to uh, 4xl and uh, what we send you are body measurements so uh, a lot of you have been purchasing from us regularly and a lot of you uh, are able to make out from the size chart that uh, which size you would fit best uh, into uh, but a few of you uh, you know uh, you have a little problem which is all right which is all right which is perfectly fine so what i'm going to do today is that uh, i'm going to tell you how and what sizes would best fit you so what I'm going to teach you today is how to take your own measurement. You can do it yourself, you can do it with the help of somebody and uh, it is pretty easy and once you're able to take, the, take those measurements you can easily understand what size you would fit when we send you a size chart. It's very basic and it's very easy. Come. So I'll be doing that with the help of a dummy today. So the first thing is your across back which is like this portion it's like one shoulder tip to the other this one I'll give you a little uh, clear picture of that basically when you want to measure your across back so you uh, take the tip of the inch tape on the tip place it on the tip of the shoulder and take it onto the other tip so this is how you would get your across back so coming to the bust Take the inch tape around your bust, the fullest part of your bust and just put one finger underneath. So it should have just have a one finger gap and it should not be pulled very tightly. It should be like I'm pulling it in a pretty comfortable way. So this will give you your bust size. Now coming on to the waist, again take your inch tape you should find out the narrowest part of your body and just take the inch tape around your waist and again pull it in a comfortable way do not pull it and just one finger gap i mean when you you're holding it like that just a one finger gap and you'll be able to get your waist size now coming on to the hips just take your inch tape around the fullest part make sure that it isn't it is not above or beneath it and just again take a one finger gap just take a one finger gap and hold it in a comfortable way and this will give you your hip measurement 
So these three or four measurements, if you take them right, it, is, it would be enough for you to understand which size you fall under. And in fact, these are enough for, un for us even to understand what size you fall under. I hope this was of help to you. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.